to let us know. So, all right, we're getting back to the men. We're talking about the women's right. We're talking about really just understanding, being valued, identified, and head out. You, you like, bro, you talk about like, uh, like a left, left, right, right, uppercut combo. Uh, it was literally that. So, uh, we're going to like now go to the next round here. And I'm coming at you right now, Sean. How do you feel? What, what, what do you feel as far as what we've been talking about? What comes to your mind? How do we help youth workers create space? What are some key things that you would like to see maybe that churches would do in moments like this? Yeah, man, I think where I would start is with Scripture. You know, John 10.10 10 says that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but Christ comes to bring a life abundant or a life full. And uh, I think where we got to start, man, to answer that question is we've got to teach young women that um, it's not about how they can... My time zone when my mind's gone and I'm flying home and I'm stressed out and I'm tempted to get that All right, what's up guys? So welcome to Creators Culture. Um, you just saw some snippets of us at Dash Radio in Hollywood. Straight look like a trap house. Dude, walking totally, up to Totally, man. There was like homeless people sleeping on the stairs and stuff. Yes. Honestly, I had to go like repark my car and walk into the front. <laughs> yes. I was just like, I, like I was like holding on like my pocket knife. I was like, if one of these, like, we're like, we we're like, we, we were like, we parked somewhere. And then he was like, nah, bro, move. Move, it won't be there when you come out. <laughs> like, yeah. it was and I was like, what? Okay. So anyway, so we're at Dash Radio, right? And the week before, Lyft threw a big party there. So like uh, rapper Lil Jon was there. It's like it's like a big deal, you know? Yeah, yeah super. A lot of followers on social media and stuff, um, internet radio. And so we went up there. My boy Nohan hit me up. Um, he's got a, a radio station, Crosstalk, um, every Friday, 8 p.m. Check it out if you haven't already. Um, I just had Angie Rose on there. She's legit, um, you know, R&B, uh, hip hop, uh, female rapper, just awesome. Um, and so we, we got to go up there and talk a little bit about women's rights and just what was going on recently. You know, he brought me in to ask me, you know, uh, my thoughts on how to treat women, like how I'm processing this with my students. Mm -hmm. um, and so we thought we'd just further this a little bit and, and bring one of our leaders in, Kimmy, um, to talk a little bit about like, like why this is important. Um, and what's going on. I think the biggest question on people's minds is like, why are women marching? Yeah, well, <clears throat> for a long time in history, uh, women have been, for lack of a better word, oppressed in a yeah. lot of ways. Um, you know, from voting in the 1920s to that being a liberty for us, um, people like Susan B. Anthony, uh, some people would say that they kind of idolize her in some ways, um, but she was really a catalyst in the women's rights movement yeah. to um, allow us to be able to vote <clears throat> for those rights. And since then, it's just carried on. Um, but one place I would say that it hasn't really carried on is in the church in a lot mm. of ways. Um, now, luckily, I'm a part of a church where we empower women, and I have the ability to lead and, and do those things. But a lot of churches across America don't value women in that way. And so um, the Women's March in my mind was something that took a stand against the oppression that people have tried to put on women and say, your voice doesn't matter or your voice is too small or the things that you care about aren't as important as the things that men are focused on. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of people say this is a, a, a man's world and in reality it's not. And uh, the Women's March was for equality, not for women to uh, dominate men in any way, but for mm. women to be equal um, in the workforce, in the church, in society as men. Yeah. And so, I, you know, I think that's an important thing to talk about. You know, I mean, um, you talked a little bit about church. Maybe some of our viewers aren't as familiar, you know, with church and mm -hmm. um, they're not a part of that. Um, but, you know, I, I think you see it throughout society. Um, yeah. You know, it's just women women have been oppressed and, and not given equal opportunity. And, um, you know, it's important because, you know, women, women have – um, strong gifts that that they're meant to share yeah. um, with society, and and I know that as a young man that empowers um, other like young people, but specifically young women to lead. Um, the things that I do are just better because of that. Yeah. Um, you know, Kimmy, uh, my wife Sarah, Kanisha, Karen, you know, Alex. I can think of a ton of young leaders yeah. that I have around me, dude, yeah. and um, young women of all colors too, because that's a reality Amen. we have to talk about too. Um, but you know, they, they make, 
um, the things that we do better. Um, they make True. business better. They make um, ministry better. They make life better. Um, and they they understand a perspective that young women are really struggling with, yeah. you know. And this viewership is not just for men; it's for women as well. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, success is not just for men. And so that's something we really wanted to talk about. Um, be honest, open about that. Have some conversations with you guys. Some open conversations. Mm-hmm. And so um, you'll be seeing Kimmy around. Um, she's also connected with a uh, with Wildfires, yeah. um, a band uh, that she started incredible band and so we'll have the youtube um link in the yeah. description Down on that there. she has her own website blog posts super funny yep. um super talented man we're su- super excited to have you here like, thank so you cool. yeah. super cool <laughs> yeah you know and so just you know remember um women are important to the team um you know and i would That's encourage right. you like um if if it's just dudes in your camp you know to to invite a woman into that Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, just really reap the benefits and rewards of that gifting. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's our job as this generation to change the culture, yeah, you definitely. know, to recreate the culture. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and that's what creators culture is all about is taking the negatives in our world and, and turning them into a positive. Um, we're only one generation away from renewal and restoration. That's right, man. That's and right. so it starts with us, man. And we believe that. We honestly believe that. Yeah. So yeah. Um, tell them what they should do at the end of this video. Like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys want to hear, what you guys got going on. Um, we love to connect with you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Thanks, guys.